Looking at the outside of the mummy, we knew she was small. We figured it was a she, it's in a female coffin. Everything looked like it was in place. Her head, her arms, her legs. An amazing feat for something that is 3,000 or so years old. She looked as if she was in perfect condition until we did the CT scan. Unlike other mummies, there was a lot of residue, body juices one might say, uh, at the bottom of her coffin. It was stained and that was a question that we all wondered about. Why would a mummy that was desiccated have so much fluids that would uh, be left in the bottom of the coffin? So there was a question about all of that. The mummy is laid out on a table. I mean, it's much like a human CT scan. You come up with um, a number of slices and dices and different ways of seeing, um, in this case, a mummy. People take this data and put it into uh, a volumetric form, something that actually shows you the body, and then uh, other people who look at that data and say, well, this means such and such. Basically, we're taking modern medicine and we're using it to unwrap the secrets of the ancient past. As a result of the interpretation of the scanning by Jonathan Elias, who has examined more than 60 CT scan mummies, we now know that when she died, Hadassan was between 50 and 60 years old, and she was rather fleshy, and you can see that in the outlines of her mummified body. But during her lifetime, and then after she died, she had substantial tooth loss. So it's likely that the poor thing had dental problems um, throughout her life. We now know something more about the late New Kingdom period, where uh, mummies have been rare. Seeing her lack of complete desiccation, the, her brain still being in the body, her internal organs still being in the body. It's likely that during this period, about 1100 to 1000 BC, mummification uh, hadn't been standardized. The study of the CT scanned information is still in the works. But I also feel that we're going to learn a lot more from studying the coffin. And it's a very interesting coffin. It's unlike others. Um, and it's a rare coffin from this early age. We have sent two pieces of the linen wrapping that remained in the bottom of the coffin and were stuck there. We sent to be carbon-14 dated, and I have a feeling that that's going to help us understand the, the mummy and its coffin even more.